Good morning everyone, Bill and Carrie with KB Tracks. Good morning. Uh, we are on a very open water, uh, oh, international water, I don't know where we are. We should be off the course of Alaska. I don't know. <laughs> One of these directions. I assume that way somewhere. Anyway, uh, what do we got going on today? Well, today is our first day at sea, so we have a bunch of activities planned. Uh, but first, we're going to go get some breakfast. All right, foolishly, we went to go shoot her open on deck 10. And uh, you can tell the seas are a little rougher today. We, they were nice and calm yesterday. But if you look at the pool water there, how it's uh, a little rough. We're kind of feeling it this morning. Not a lot of people are out here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right now uh, with the rain maybe walking through to go uh, between A and B gonna walk across deck 9 from the forward of the ship to the aft we're gonna go to Cabanas for breakfast doesn't feel nearly as bad without the wind here on the lower deck uh, they have uh, wall to ceiling uh, windows and uh, this is back to the family deck pool is closed right now over here I'm gonna head into Cabanas don't seem too busy in here today. Got oatmeal and grits, fried eggs, eggs and potatoes, hash browns, Mickey waffles, French toast, pancakes, normal and with blueberry and chocolate chips in them, sausage, bacon, grilled tomatoes and mushrooms, uh, omelets, pastry area kind of toward the end. And they can do a uh, toast and bagels and then uh, charcuterie type stuff and then it'll repeat on the other side outside of cabanas it looks like they got the hot chocolate and the coffee going let's try another one <laughs> there we go that looks like hot chocolate if we look out into the uh, pool area looks like it's raining pretty good but we're going to stay under covered on deck nine as we go to uh, uh, forward and we're going to go on out to the walt disney theater Carrie got herself some hot chocolate. How is it, hon? It's very good, very chocolatey. Yeah, I'm sure the ones in Cove Cafe are better, but those you have to pay for. This one's free. Oh, I suppose um, yeah. if you're gonna pay for it, it better be better. <laughs> the temperature wise isn't too bad for it's me. It's not, no, it's not terrible. I, I think, I'm glad I'm wearing long sleeves. I'm comfortable. I would probably be a little cooler if I was in a short sleeve shirt like you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the short sleeve shirts, but down here there's no breeze. No. But uh, on deck 10, that was a little too windy. Yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna make our way. As I said, we're going to uh, deck four forward to the Walt Disney Theater. Uh, they still have the Funnel Vision plane, even though uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone's out here watching it. Alice in Wonderland. And this is forward on deck nine, and actually that is the smoking area up ahead. We're on the uh, port side. Deck four, Walt Disney Theater. I'm gonna check out a uh, Welcome to Alaska. It's a little talker intro thing. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh wait, welcome to Alaska. Welcome to our beautiful Walt Disney Theater and to our talk from our naturist, Lindsay Taylor. She is here for the whole cruise to tell you all things Alaska. Then it's the largest state in the country. It's also larger than the next three largest states combined. So the second largest state being, of course, Texas. Now the most notable feature of Southeast Alaska is the Tongass National Forest and this is the largest temperate, na temperate rainforest in the world. It's 75% of Southeast Alaska is the Tongass National Forest. So if you look out um, off, of, off of Deck 9 when we're traveling through some of this landscape and you're seeing trees and forested mountainsides, odds are you are looking at part of the Tongass National Forest. It's 16.8 million acres. And this is also the capital of Alaska. They bring in more than 900,000 cruise ship passengers every year and 100,000 other travelers. Off the ship from us were some uh, dolphins, I think, or uh, orcas, we couldn't quite tell. Now we're kind of past them, we're moving too fast. We're gonna go down the uh, walking track to see if we can get uh, a better view of them, but we just might be moving too fast for them. Yeah, unfortunately our ship is just moving way too fast for them, but I'm sure we'll see some more later on. I was actually in line for Spider-Man, and Carrie went to the uh, um, 
the gift shop. The gift shop, and I'm texting her, come back now, come back now. <laughs> but I also saw through the porthole, because then a bunch of people in the gift shop were all excited. So I didn't see his text, but I went running then to grab him. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure we're going to see more uh, yes. as we go on here, but it was like the first sign of... Uh... Yeah, it was like the first wildlife we've seen since we've been on board. I know at uh, Preludes, there's Thor uh, for a photo opportunity. Spider-Man will be up in a few minutes. I'm going to go back in the Walt Disney Theater for the next wildlife presentation, uh, which will start in a few minutes. We have got an amazing naturalist. Her name is Lindsay Taylor, and she is going to talk all things coastal and wildlife of Alaska. So with no further introduction, come on up, welcome, and Lindsay Taylor! How you can even tell the difference. It might seem obvious, like you could use color, but black bears can actually come in a black color. They can also be brown or so light colored that they almost look blonde. We're actually going to dart out of that second wildlife seminar thing. We're going to head to the Crown and Finn. We're going to do Muppets trivia. What did you think of the two seminar things? They're very interesting. Mm -hmm. I liked seeing all the animals that we could potentially see. I thought it was very interesting. Of course, I like science and animals yeah. and stuff like that. So. Yep. And you like science and animals and stuff I like, like that. animals. I like turtles. I like turtles. So this is new. They're actually putting the questions up on the TV screens. The Muppets were created by puppeteer Jim Henson. True. True. Who said this was false? <laughs> of course, this is true. You all know this one. There was a free point for you all. How do we do? Fire we got 13. Got 14? 13. 13. That's still reasonable out of 20 for us. Yeah, but it's not going to be a winner. That's it. They positive. <laughs> Didn't do too well in trivia. Nope. No. There were two teams that had tied for 20 points. Yep, and then so they got the right score. And then they did a bonus question. And, and they both picked the same answer, which that was actually kind of funny. Yeah, because it was just like a random thing. <laughs> Well, the horn just went off. Does that mean it's noon? That would mean it's noon, I think. Can I talk about this? Uh, when we went to the uh, White Caps in between the two uh, seminars, Carrie got some uh, ears. Yes, they have earmuffs on them. They're cute. They are cute. How much were your earmuffs? Uh, they were 35 with our platinum discount. Okay, I think they were 40 without the discount. Yeah. So, ears. You got ear earmuffs. Uh -huh. ear, ear. Uh, shut up. We're gonna try cabanas for some lunch. There's happy chicken tendies. Chicken tendies. Fries are mac and cheese, meatloaf and lentil soup, Mexican tortilla soup, roasted snapper, baked zucchini, tilapia, orzo pasta with spinach, uh, beef ravioli, pasta with a choice between uh, marinara or Alfredo. Marinated pork steak with red beans and rice. Stuffed chicken. And buttered green beans and carrots. Grilled turkey steak. Steak fries. A couple different kinds of bread. Uh, these are focaccia. Different kinds of focaccia. Carving station with uh, honey baked, honey glazed ham. Carving station flank steak. Across from there we've got uh, crab and shrimp. Also some salads. On this Mediterranean corner, we got uh, marinated Greek chicken and seafood pellet, pellet, paleo, paella, paella, paella. Yeah, that word. In the back there are lamb chops. And at the one uh, spot, uh, there's desserts kind of behind the thing, and that's got some fresh fruit. How was your lunch? My lunch was good. How was yours? It was okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was okay. I like my chicken tendies. Okay, that's good. And the orzo pasta was really good, which you didn't try any of, but that was probably my favorite. Well, where are we headed next? We uh, we have chocolate and liqueur tasting, uh, so we're gonna head toward uh, Cadillac Lounge and get seated. At the family pool on midship, other bears on funnel vision, and uh, just poke over here. So over here is uh, Pinocchio's Pizza, and there's a bar next to that. Gonna come around on the back side or the other side of the uh, Pinocchio's where we were. That's what I'm looking for. Ice cream. Got a couple flavors: vanilla, chocolate, or swirl. Banana cream, chocolate, or swirl that. And there's another chocolate vanilla on the other side. Go for it, hon. Oops, I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez. 
good job. Nothing like ice cream on a uh, 40 something degree day. Why not? <laughs> this is the entrance to the edge. It's uh, the uh, elevators, midship elevators, the deck nine uh, is next to there. You can tell the sea is a lot calmer now. We're not getting those waves in the pool. And also the suns came out, so it's uh, warming up, at least for us. <laughs> It's kind of funny, Karen and I are walking around just fine and other people are like freezing. I, I love the people who are like walking around full out winter jackets, hats, mittens, and I'm just like, dude, it's not that cold, but to them it is. Yeah, but we're quote unquote hardy Minnesotans. Right. I thought, I did think it was funny this morning, we, uh, as we were leaving our room, our stateroom hostess was like, how's your room? Is the temperature okay? Is it Do too you, cold? Is it too cold? And we're like, no, it could be colder. <laughs> And now we're the weirdos eating ice cream. We are and not the only ones eating ice cream. There were plenty of others grabbing cones when we were okay, there. Yes, but they're all like less, <laughs> under 12. <laughs> you know, like we're the only adults eating ice cream and it's like 50 degrees out. I saw an adult get ice cream. What? I said I saw an adult getting ice cream. Okay. I mean, they gave it to their kid, but they still got it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> not exactly sure we are where we are because uh, I don't have map access on my phone right now. Uh, but uh, pretty much nothing but trees on that island or piece of land that's out there. Oh, you look comfortable. I am comfortable. Yeah? So yeah. you want these at home? That would be great, actually. With one of these views? Well, one of these views would be amazing, but I don't think we'll get one of these views at home. Okay. All right, so right now you can pick out your melted chocolate, all right, which is a small martini glass, all right? Mm -hmm. Just take a sip of the chocolate, or maybe you can mm -hmm. use a teaspoon. It's up to you, and after that, Right, so you can just take a little bit heavy, and let's see the wine dry, a sweet, light, medium, or full body for you. I like this combo with the uh, Parmesan cheese and this wine, our third wine. Left the Cadillac Lounge and we're going to Azure. Carrie wants to do the uh, next trivia in here. What are we playing next? Broadway music trivia. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I probably am too. Unless it's Wicked, I probably don't have a <laughs> That's chance. That's what I said. I said Wicked or Hamilton. <laughs> I am going to ask you 20 Broadway music related questions. All you have to do is write down the correct answer, which I know sounds really easy when I explain it like that. Da 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 Wow, give yourself a round of applause. That was incredible. And no one said his name, so good job everyone. Da 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 <laughs> I want to hear it proud. Are you ready? Yeah. Am I ready? I don't know, but let's go. <laughs> How we do, hon? Oh, oh, we suck at Broadway trivia. <laughs> we got 10 out of 20. Hey, that's 50%. Hey, it's 50%, but it still wasn't a winner. Yep. Okay, after getting destroyed with trivia. Yes. Now what? Mixology time. Okay. Oh, we haven't even come from the chocolate and the core tasting yet. <laughs> nope, but we're gonna be drinking some more. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Everyone likes the porthole photos. Yeah. Today in the Mixology, we have uh, five different cocktails, five different techniques. Perfecto, after the, okay, all right, yes. I like it, yes, very good. <laughs> Just put on, oh my God. Chug, 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 chug. Ah! That was good. All right, how's mixology? I can't feel my face right now. <laughs> okay, so sure. So I guess as a measurement, it was a good mixology. <laughs> Uh, sure, let's go with that. Uh, we had five drinks. Yes. I had six. <laughs> I had six too, because you made one for me. Yeah, I Because suppose. you don't follow directions. Yep. We got an extra drink out of it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're going to have a uh, full vlog uh, separate from this, more detailed, with the link up above. If I can get sober enough to edit it. Uh, <laughs> right now, we're going to go in the Crown and Finn for... TV catchphrase trivia. So it's, it's a new one. That's a, that, I think this is a new type of trivia. I, never, I don't remember having this on the cruise ships before. They're just finishing up an origami class. 
before a trivia. They do a lot of these things back to back. We need to make a somewhat attempt to sober up a little. Solitude is hitting us hard. <laughs> <laughs> After the um, chocolate liqueur taste. Yeah, so, yeah. Carrie ran up to deck nine and she got us some uh, chicken tenders with fries and some pizza, which will hopefully suck up some of this alcohol. Yes, yes. We need to sober up a touch. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what we're eating. We're going to eat in like five more hours for dinner. <laughs> Who's ready to do the trivia? Yeah! All I want to know is the show it came from. Can you do that, everybody? Yeah? I don't need to know the actor. I don't need to know the character. I just want to know the show it came from. Now, TV catchphrases. This could be from anything. And I really do mean anything. It could be from a reality TV show. It could be from normal shows, sitcoms, drama series, news, Saturday Night Live, all those kind of things. So make sure your horizons are broad. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah? Long live and prosper. No. Star Wars. Long live and prosper. Live long and prosper. Get it right. Rude. Full house. Full house or fuller house, whatever you like, but full house. Make How we do? We did 17, so we did decent, but like, I feel like the only way you ever win any of these is you have to have a perfect score. 14. Woo. 16. Woo. 18. Woo. <laughs> 16. Woo. 17. Woo. <gasps> Nobody got 18? Wait, you two got, you got 18? Oh no. 17. Could anybody in this room get 18? Who got 17? We have one, two, three, four, five teams of 17. Wow. So that means it's time for a tiebreaker question! Tell you right now that nobody was correct. <laughs> <laughs> but there was one team that was close. And they were off by five or six episodes. I can't really remember what number they walked down. But the answer was 275. Oh. Where is the people that said 28 something? That one over there. We are oh. winner. Chicken dinner. How we do? So we actually tied for first. But we lost 17. The, yeah, but we lost the tiebreaker. But we were actually close on the tiebreaker, but we still lost it. Yeah, we just weren't close enough on yeah, the tiebreaker. Yeah. Someone else was closer. Yes. Uh, wah, wah. We're back up on deck nine. We got our Yetis. We're going to go get some uh, hot chocolate or something to drink. And then we're going to just uh, check out, see if we can see any wildlife uh, swimming by, uh, see uh, any land that we pass. Oh, here we go, the hot chocolate machine. Woohoo, look at that, piping hot. It's our piping hot caffeinated beverage. <laughs> you get the reference? Yes. Okay. Wonder how many other people out there do. Yeah. Got at least one brave soul in the pool. It's uh, windy, but at least the uh, sea seem to be calm again. Enchanted's up on Funnel Vision. It is windy out here on deck 10. We're gonna go to deck 10 forward. Uh, this is the wide world of sports. And they got a basketball hoop, ping pong tables, a couple other things out here uh, for your entertainment. There's a foosball table, ping pong, as I said. This is considered the hidden Mickey. But man, it's windy. It's kind of hard to compensate for your shot, I would imagine. This ain't too bad of an area over here. This is kind of blocked off from the wind. You can go to the other side, but it's closed right now because it's too windy. And you can see off the bow of the ship. Let's go up there. We can see through the window. Right there on the bow, I'm not sure what you can tell from here, there's a hidden Mickey uh, down there. Right there. Hidden Mickey right on the uh, bow, as I said, from the top. The area down below, that is uh, the pool for um, the, for the staff, for uh, cast members. That's a cast member only pool area. I don't have a map to pull up, but that's either uh, Southeast Alaska or uh, Canada. As I said, without the map, hard to really tell for us. So in front of the ship, you can see the different uh, radars, Doppler. That way they can, so the Doppler is the uh, round balls. That's more like Doppler radar. 
Some are more for the weather. The other radar is the uh, ones that are spinning uh, on top of the tower there. We are trying to see if there's any wildlife we can see from up here. I haven't seen anything yet. I'm gonna go between here. Actually, there's a water bottle refill station and a water fountain. But there's a plaque over here I never noticed before. Been on the wonder a couple times. Gonna see what it says. Okay, so this is uh, the plaque for the ship. So it looks like it was uh, made in uh, 1999. So that's uh, made in Italy, so that's what it's saying. Back down on deck nine, it was just a little too windy for uh, deck 10. But, uh, again, these uh, glass portions are uh, from sealing the floor, so that really helps cut down on the wind. It's on all sides of the ship that signals. I actually saw Carrie sitting over by Cove Cafe. Uh, see the water current seems pretty calm because uh, the water at the adult pool is not uh, doesn't have the waves to it again the pools on the ship are heated the hot tubs are a lot more but uh, you could go swim in this water right now theoretically oh yeah the wind's so much better over here yeah. <laughs> or the lack of wind I shouldn't say <laughs> how you doing good how are you uh, doing good a little cool yeah but it's not really the temperature it's the wind it's the wind yeah temperature itself I'm fine with it just when that yeah. wind picks up so we didn't have any luck seeing any uh, animals of any sort uh, from the side of the ship no but it was nice being out there it's just nice and relaxing yeah we just kind of hung out on uh, deck nine and drank our hot chocolate and watched the world go by yep. we're back in the Walt Disney Theater we're gonna watch the Golden Mickey show ready for the Golden Mickeys I'm ready for the Golden Mickeys and in case you're curious we didn't there was no show on the opening night anymore Yep, that's why we did Apollo. Oh, that's why we did Prima Notte Apollo. They don't do an opening night show like they have on previous cruises. Now, is that on every cruise or was my, it just in this one? My understanding is that's like a cruise wide thing now. Okay, I wonder why that is. Um, my, from what I heard, it was because so many people are usually tired and it's a travel day for many. So they've just found that the first night isn't really that well attended. It's kind of like the same uh, theory. Match or meet used to be on the first night. Yep. And now they moved it to the second night of cruises. That was a popular show. Yeah. And so people don't want to miss that. Yep. So kind of the same theory, basically. Yeah. And match or meet will actually be tonight. Tonight. If we could stay up for it. Oh, stay up for it. What did you get, hon? Got the stitched popcorn bucket. This thing is awesome. Isn't that so cute? That is adorable. Yes. How much was this? This was $24. Okay, did we get a discount because of being platinum? No, no, not on food. This okay. is still just considered food. Okay. But that's and cute. As a courtesy to your He's adorable. Yes. I love Stitch. This is my favorite. What do you think of the Golden Mickeys? It was really good. Um, I kind of forget how how good it is. Mm -hmm. So I loved the uh, Princess and the Frog segment, of course. You know, anytime I get pun my girl Punzi. Yeah. So. Uh, the thing is, um, we've seen, I don't know how many times now. Yeah. And they do little improvements uh, every yeah, time. Yeah, there's, al there's always just one little, at least one little thing that's different every time we've seen it. And what are we up to now? Uh, we are seated in Crown and Finn. We're going to be playing 70s music trivia. Now, I want to know what's number one. Listen, Finny Finny and the Jets. Jets. Fine irony. A bunch of idiots dancing on a plane to a song made famous by a band that died in a plane crash. We're making our way to dinner. We gotta go through the atrium. And it is formal night, uh, so people can dress up in formal wear, and then they, of course, have photo opportunities. Uh, so they change the backdrops. Hi, hon. 
So uh, like uh, they're all dressed up and then you can have the backdrop like the Northern Lights over there. So how did we do a 70s music trivia? You know, for the fact that I wasn't even born in that decade and you were only born five months into the decade. Four. Four, whatever. Uh, we did 23 out of 40. So, I mean, I knew we weren't going to win that one, but I was actually surprised with how well we did. Yeah. And while we're in there, we got the drink of the day. Yep. Do you know what the name of it is? Nope. Cool. What do you think of it, though? A uh, little too much cranberry juice for me. It was very sweet. Yeah. It was, yeah. Hey everyone, in case you couldn't tell, we are back home. Uh, we've been editing these things, and when they're, uh, these vlogs get a bit on the long side, we like to break them up so that they're a little bit easier for you to watch. Uh, so stay tuned for part two. But uh, hey, please do us a favor and subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers. Uh, so help us slow the number and help the channel grow. Help us reach our next goal of 2,000 subscribers. But what's coming up in part two? Part two, we've got our dinner in Tiana's place. Mm -hmm. And uh, our favorite show of the cruise, no matter what cruise we go on, Match Your Mate. It's always enjoyable. Yeah, Match Your Mate is quite the game show to watch where they put three couples up against each other where they try to match their answers. So come back and check that out because you're going to really enjoy that. But anyway, we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. You've been watching KB Treks. Please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya.